Welcome to the first podcast of the year. I'm Sarah. I'm Charlie. I'm Sal. I'm George. And uh, we're here to talk about music and stuff. Mostly conspiracy theories. That's all we've been talking about. Yeah. But <laughs> so this week in music, we've had 21 Pilots release Trench. Lady Gaga released A Star Is Born. And also that film came out. I haven't mm-hmm, seen it right. yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Laney or Lani. I don't know. How Lainey? do you say Lani? Lani. I think it's Lani. Los Angeles, Lainey. New York. Yeah. They released Malibu Nights. And uh, Mariah Carey trying to be relevant. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple theories circ- circulating around about Paul Klein, Dua Lipa's ex, mm-hmm. and Malibu Knights. So after the breakup between the two, um, Paul Klein went like AWOL, disappeared from social media, everything, and he just didn't do anything, and they came back, and he cut his hair. So you know, you know they were bro- broken up at that <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Symbolism. Yeah, symbolism. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> he, to, he cut funny. her off, and then he had to cut off his hair. <laughs> and so this entire album is supposed to be a letter or a diary to Dua Lipa. And just by looking at the song titles. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely about Dua. I mean, like. <laughs> Take me back if you see her. I don't want to love you anymore. Tears. Like, oh, th- th- yeah, let this, me know. <laughs> that it's, this is entirely about Dua. His, <laughs> his bandmates are probably like, dude, get over it. It's it's one. He needs to girl. capitalize though. That's true. You know, there was a theory going around that that while they were dating, that they were only dating for like rep and to get Lainey back on track, kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. Dua Lipa had an international fan base, and before they ever dated, they were just, Lainey was kind of a smaller band and Dua Lipa kind of brought them back. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, it's definitely something to think about because I mean, the music industry does do stuff like that. And I had uh, found out about Lainey shortly before I heard about Dua and uh, Lainey, like them dating, so. But do you feel like that Dua Lipa is who, who you should credit for their success now? Yeah, I mean, Definitely after the breakup. It definitely helps. This album, I mean, I, I feel like the emotions were real. So yeah. I don't feel like this was a setup, like, relationship or anything. Because the emotions were real. And who's going to make a whole... I'm sorry. I wouldn't make a <laughs> fake album if I just didn't feel that way for someone. But, right. right. With that many song titles, okay. like, about her. It took them 45 days to write it. And it was released less than a year after the first studio album. So it was rushed. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's because they had to like strike while it was still hot, kind of thing. Could exactly. we? We could potentially even like look on Google to see how their popularity was before and after the breakup. Yeah. Do you guys know when they broke up? I'm about to go and pull up Google uh, Trends. Let me check. We're um, not sponsored, but we wish we were. <laughs> <laughs> by Google. <laughs> right. Sponsored by Google. Okay. So it was over a year ago. Let's okay. See. So. Let's let's just look at the trends within the past year. How do I pull that up? I think it was around in January. Yeah, yeah, they broke up like this summer. Oh, okay, so they started going down in popularity around November of last year, mm-hmm. and it was just a steady incline this summer. And then I'm sure like after they broke up, they got more popular as well because you, you can see in July. Yeah. Yeah. And then they released the new album, and boom, skyrocketed. It's not, and it hasn't yeah. been that high in, like, ever. So No, it really hasn't. It was, right. like, an all-time high. So maybe. It, it, there's a correlation for sure. All right. Other than that, we had the AMAs last night. Taylor yeah. Swift broke the records for the most AMAs won, 23 in total, but she won four last night. Taylor Swift has also been in the news a lot lately. Yeah, yeah she has. Politics. <laughs> so you, it's about time she's said something. I yeah, mean, she's I mean, been like off the radar. I thought she was a Republican, high key. Um, I don't. She's just. Uh, she would just come across as a Republican, just like by her like snakeish habits. <laughs> <laughs> so I would. I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of happy she did say something. And um, Governor Mike Huckabee, after she, after she posted that uh, Instagram post mm-hmm. saying you guys should all vote. Huckabee said, so Taylor Swift has every right to be political, but it won't impact the election unless we allow 13-year-old girls to vote. Still with Marsha Blackburn. Who's, okay. How do you feel about that? Um, that's, okay, 13-year-old girls, she's released how many albums, and everyone that has followed her since 15 are in their 20s. Yeah. yeah. So I like, saw that. Yeah, They're like I saw 25 that message. Now. So like, her OG fan base. Her OG right. fan base. Yeah, her dedicated fans are still pretty old. I mean... 
Reputation came out two years ago, and if you heard about Taylor Swift for the first time when you were 16, like... You're old you're 18 enough now, to vote. You're old enough yeah. to vote, yeah. <laughs> How do you guys yeah. feel about celebrities climbing into that political realm? I mean, they're in the... It's in, they're always on social media, so I think it's kind of hard not to because they do have social influence. So they can be like, go a register to vote, blah, blah, blah. So like, if they they have more of an opinion to say stuff now more than ever. And I think like... Should they be using their platform? I think that's dangerous for them because if they yeah. say something controversial, something yeah, like it what Kanye's doing... It, it depends could, if they yeah, have a good message fire. to say. Yeah. 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 I mean, Kanye... Um, speaking of good messages, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kanye, I was a huge fan up until six months ago. I mean, I'm a recovering Kanye fan, to be honest. <laughs> but he's meeting with Donald Trump tomorrow. Why mm. is a big hip-hop artist meeting with the president of the United States? Are you the biggest hip-hop artist right, right. right now? Jay-Z. Oh, right now? <laughs> relevant. The most relevant right now. Fair. Okay. But how do you feel about that? How do you feel about him meeting with the president of the United States? I mean, based on his tweets, it seems like he has good intentions, but... What? What tweets? Which one? The amendment. That's not... He's trying to make change. He's trying to make change. Uh, he's also trying to do stuff with social media. Like. Uh, he's, but, I feel like someone needs to hold Kanye down for a minute, take him to rehab. You know, just help him. Kimmy, where you at? Yeah, yeah, Kim, the next first lady. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. Are you guys voting for him in the election? I mean, Trump versus Kanye, who would you vote for? Honestly, just arm wrestle for it. Just the arm wrestle. Yikes. The biggest ego wins. Oh, no. Okay, if Kanye or Trump ran this country, if Kanye ran this country, what would be different than it is now? Because Trump is just... Basically a puppet. Wait, wait, even a better question. Would Kanye run as a Republican or a conservative? Or a Republican or a Democrat? Oh. Mm. That is interesting. Probably, Probably a Republican. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could I see that. I could that. see that he too. the most from... But he, there's a bigger platform if he ran as a Democrat. That's true. Right. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. I just... Probably got fans that are more Democrats. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's true. But like... Would, would you go out, out of your way and vote for Kanye just to say you voted for Kanye? It's like Some a people vote. would. I think it depends on who else yeah. is running. Low key, I might. I'm kidding. Well, there's, there's people that like even uh you know rode in for candidates or rode in Harambe. Harambe. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, didn't yeah. he get like, like four hundred thousand votes or something? Yeah, like right. Like, like dead yeah. 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 <laughs> It was it was a meme on Twitter for a long time, and I feel like if you're just a confused millennial, not millennial because those are older than us, but like if you're a confused like first time voter. And you don't know, like, you don't want to be involved in this. What are you going to, like, I, I, I can see where they're coming from. It's just not the right, you know, intention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other news in the AMAs, Camila Cabello. Um, hope I said that right. Camila Cabello? No, I'm not going to say it. Whatever one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she won Best New Artist, and she beat out Dua Lipa, Khalid, Cardi B, and XXX. Mm. Okay, that's, no. But he, okay, <laughs> well, who, who do you think deserved to win? Um, well, I'm more Cardi. of a Khalid or a, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with either Khalid, Car Cardi, or a Dua. Like, but not Camila Cabello. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think it's like a personal fan. Okay. Like, yeah. I feel like a lot of her um, success is like, it's because of Fifth Harmony and yeah. because of their huge Stan like fan base. But, I don't know. As far as deserving to win, did she release a new album? Yeah, she released one new yeah, album yeah. this summer, right? Yeah, because then she released Havana, released Havana, and that's like one of the biggest. Havana went everywhere. Like it was, it was like top one on the chart on Billboard's 100. Yeah, for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this summer. So I could see, but like Dua Lipa, Had new rules. New but is she a new artist? I'm confused. Like, why is Dua Lipa on Cardi B and Khalid under new artist? Yeah, I mean, probably mm. Dua Lipa because she emerged into the U.S. Like fan base within the last yeah, year. Yeah, and it's the American Music Awards. Yeah. She's uh -huh. been around for a while, though, and, like, yeah. she didn't break into the U.S. market up until, like, this summer. Yeah. Which surprises me a lot, like... She's so good. She's problematic. <laughs> Electra I Heart? I know. Oh, oh we should talk about <laughs> that. Okay. Electra Heart. <laughs> so yesterday at the AMAs, uh, Dua Lipa posted on Instagram a picture of her in a blonde wig saying that we're going to bring back electricity, but better electricity or song. We'll just call her Electra. And if you know anything about music, you know Marina and the Diamonds also had 
an album called Electra Heart, where she like portrayed her alter ego, also named Electra. Is this a jab at Marina and the Diamonds, or is this pure coincidence? I think it's too close to be a coincidence. But also, like, why why would you poke at Marina? Yeah. You know, like what makes it seem more than a coincidence was with the the blonde wig, like styling that after mm-hmm. uh, Marina's alter ego, like calling her just uh, you know Electra. That's like. But the that, blonde wig was already there from the music video and everything that released. Like it was electricity. So I get like the lightning bolt aspect of electricity okay, okay. and being blonde. And then the song is also called Electricity. You can right. even like make this like, whole conspiracy theory and be like, yeah, this song was just made so uh, Dua Lipa could basically steal Mr. Marina and the Diamonds aesthetic. But like, I wouldn't go that far personally. Yeah. I feel like what she posted on Instagram last night was um, a little too much. We'll call her Electra. Like that's that's the word. Yeah, that's really yes, bad. Yes, that's a, that's a huge at sign. And she said, well, yeah, we're making. Bringing it back, bet, but better, basically. Yeah. So, oh, oh <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. thought of yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better than Marina. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a that's a jab. Yeah. Do you think so? I mean, for that wording. What do you mean you're bringing it back, but better? Just the performance, we'll just, we'll just or just call her Electra? Just yeah, Electra. not yeah, Electra yeah. Heart. Yeah. Just Electra, because she's better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Marina tweeted, "I don't want to be aspirational. That sounds like no fun at all." And mm. it was the same night as the AMAs, a couple hours after Dua had posted that. So was that Marina's response to the controversy, or was it just pure coincidence that she tweeted that? Because mm. mm. there's not much context there. There's no context. Yeah. <laughs> None <laughs> at all. Like, interpret your own meaning. That sounds like, no yeah. like no fun at all. Speaking of Twitter beef, <laughs> Lana Del Rey. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and Azalea Banks. Oh jeez. And Kanye West. That's a um, we had some profanity in that. It was it was pretty great, and uh, it started off with Lana with Azalea Banks quoting a tweet about Lana Del Rey's response to Kanye. Mm-hmm. Kanye posted a picture wearing a "Make America Great Again" hat with super conservative like captions, and Lana Del Rey was like, "No, you can't do this," and everyone was like, "Oh my God, we stand Lana, go Lana," kind of thing. <laughs> yep. Azalea Banks goes and says, "All right." Wow, okay, Lana, this would be cute if you were consistent with your outrage and refused to collab with ASAP Rocky, who has assaulted women to, too. This looks like the typical white woman using a weakened target to pretend to be an ally. Which, that was a well-thought-out response. Mm-hmm. But at the time, of th- the, the time I pulled this up, it only had 900 likes. Yeah, this is on her <laughs> off. Yeah. Isn't this on, like, some soap? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. We were talking about it in my class today. I don't know. I don't think the tweet's here, but it's like, I don't know if it's, is it, is this her actual account or is it a different account? I don't, and people said it was her, but like, it's not verified. I don't yeah, know who I, it is. I think she has like two oh, yeah, right. different. Probably. But this is the account that Lana responded to. It was shop cheap XO, cheapy yeah. XO, something like that. Let me Google it. Yeah. yeah so La, or Azalea Banks went out and wrote out this whole thread and um, <laughs> Lana Del Rey responded with some profanity. I won't <laughs> F you the F up, period, which was my favorite tweet out of all of it. It's yeah. like Lana went and snapped at this. <laughs> and she goes, you know the Eddie, pull up anytime. Say it to my face. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Like, Lana Del Rey, you know where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, she's, a, <laughs> she's hip. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled, like... I don't know. I feel like this is Lana. Th- she's just defending herself, which is a good defense mechanism. How do you guys feel about her going off like that? I mean, <laughs> she's not letting uh, because Azalea has so much like beef in her past, and like so yeah. many things have happened that uh, is super problematic. And like, yeah, she I, I think Lana's just not putting up with it. She's like, I am not like going to be a part of, I mean, I'm not going to be a part of this. Like, I'm just going to put you in your place and tell you how it she is. She shuts it down before. Like, like I'm just going to, if you're, yeah, you're, you're going to be at that level, I'm going to be at that level too. Yeah. And I did look it up. Uh, Cheapy XO is her merch. Like, That's Twitter. her merch account? Why would she go off her merch account? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Merch it, link in bio, guys. It, <laughs> I mean, right. If she's tweeting uh, at Lana Del Rey, like her following could have spiked oh. on her merch account. That's smart. That's a marketing scheme. Yeah. Maybe maybe oh, they like yeah. collab together Twitter. and then this was done on purpose and maybe Azalea Banks is trying to like sell merch and giving some of the proceeds to Lana. 
Like it's there all had to be. Some, it's all conspiracy. <laughs> Nothing is true. This is all a lie. Yes. She's not verified yet, but she has thirty-one thousand followers now. Now, mm-hmm. she probably gained some. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like there's got to be some Azalea Bank supporters coming out and just being like, "Hey, um, we're gonna buy your merch now." Or <laughs> probably conservatives, honestly, just like Trump and the or Kanye and the Make America Great Again hat. He redesigned it and made this his own. Like he recut it and everything. Did, did you guys really? see all about that? He was like talking yeah. and w- for his performance on SNL. Yeah, I heard about that. Did you hear about oh. that? Yeah. So they cut him off short for ads because like they literally ran out of time, so they couldn't like put it all. So they cut him all short. Uh, cut him off short for a performance or during his performance, and he goes, "This is my hat. I cut it and designed it the way I am, and the statement on it." Um, just, it's so freeing and all of that. And I'm just like, I saw it on Twitter and like some of my conservative friends retweeted it. I'm just like, <laughs> ooh, is this what you guys are listening to now? I remember like, even uh, Keenan Thompson talked about that on uh, one of the late night shows. I think it was with Seth Meyers or during an interview. And he's like, yeah, that's not really the best time to bring up your own like political opinions is when like the cast is all kind of standing around clapping and they can't really do anything yeah. or say anything yeah. against you. you know? like, they look like they're supporting the message. Yeah. It was right, like, right. Right. They're like, can I hide backstage now? <laughs> can can, we, can we go? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can you come pick me up? <laughs> <laughs> so um, Lady Gaga has also been critical and very outgoing when it comes to politics. With her new album, or yeah, with her new album and like um, movie coming out, do you think she she's gonna stay in the political limelight, or do you think she's gonna back off to just just to you know protect her well being or like political well being? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, I mean I think Lady Gaga's always kept us on her toes because everything that she does seems super different. Yeah, so she, you could never predict what happens. You can never. Yeah. She came like she's normal now. Yeah, because <laughs> right, she, right. Because she she did an album with what Tony Bennett and like who? Sorry, I'm yeah. not woke. Oh, with Tony Bennett. Yeah, I yeah. know who that is. Yeah. Like the old jazz crooner from yeah. like... Oh. Yeah, which is like outstanding because she's such a talented vocalist and so is he for sure. But like it's like her like path in the in the music industry and it's, like it's it's, it's really crazy. weird. And like I don't know how like what do they call themselves the monsters, her fan base? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how they keep up. How do they how do they not shape shift all? Because Joanne was like borderline country. Yeah, and like she wore around like a big hat. I forgot what, the, what it was called, but she wore it around every mm-hmm. single day of that phase in her like like album. Yeah, so she got some backlash on that album too, didn't she? People didn't really uh, vibe. Yeah, some people didn't like it because it wasn't like her old stuff. Right. But like mm-hmm. that's that's Lady Gaga. If you're yeah. signing up to be on that fan base, you're gonna you're gonna wanna you're you gonna know. dedicate yourself yeah. no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> How you gotta do- go with the change. Mm-hmm. How are we doing on time, guys? <laughs> 18 minutes. Okay, nice. We got some time. Okay, so Mariah Carey, how do you guys feel about her? <laughs> 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 a heavy sigh. <laughs> I'm just like not into it. I mean, I'll listen to Obsessed, and that's about it. Okay, when did she die off? When was the end of her career? Because she she debuted a new song last night on, yeah. at the AMAs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how- when I'm this. <laughs> is that when she started to die, or was that the end of her career? That's or was it her performance uh, at the Rockefeller Center on Christmas? I didn't see that. I would say Rockefeller on Christmas. Rockefeller really? yeah. Because she no longer that, had the voice. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't there anymore. That was a no. big, big thing that goes all over <laughs> the headlines when her for a few and Nick days. broke up. Her and Nick also, I think, hurt as well. Well, I mean, Nick's kind of gone down, too. Yeah. Besides Wild and Now. I think that both hurt them. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. But breaks up, breakups in like celebrity culture just kind of like do good for you, like Dua Lipa and Paul. Right. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. true. That's Except true. for Mariah Carey. She's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she just put out a new single, so. Yeah, but like, she's how is, she's, she's she's she yeah. she shouldn't be. And okay. we're talking about it. So. Right. So it's working. <laughs> we're talking about it because we're we we want Mariah to seek help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please go see <laughs> some Wall Street, street broker, invest some money in yes. it, stay, stay financially responsible. We want you on this earth with mm-hmm. us, but music, ah. Uh, get some I financial stability. Yeah, get some financial. Yeah, otherwise I'm you sure do like uh, bit cameo roles, like and you don't mess with the Zohan yeah. <laughs> back in 2006. Oh, man. Whenever that was. So, yeah, I just, I just feel like there's just a lot, like especially with like, artists dying like 
There's mm-hmm. always one thing that could, that's scary. Like that that's one scary. thing that could just like end your career. Right. Like Taylor Swift has been defying that. She has yeah. been. <laughs> and like last night, her winning the four AMAs kind of just like solidified over it. Like, yep. I'm never going to die. She's like, I'm always here. <laughs> the Kanye thing in 20, or 2008. Uh, yeah, oh, that's yeah. been a minute. Uh, it's been a minute. Yeah. It's been 10 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really 10 like, years. Yeah. She released how many albums during then? Two? No, she released, was that one? Um, there was, the, uh, uh, the, one with, the one that came out in 2012 or 2013. Was it 1989? Or is that Red? It was Red. Yeah. And then 1989. Mm-hmm. And then didn't she just release one? No, she hasn't. She hasn't she, released one. She released. I don't know. I don't keep up with Taylor Swift. I don't, I don't know how to feel about her because... <laughs> She did some good things, like, just recently she's come out and said some good things, and she has a huge, like, following. Mm -hmm. Her Instagram post the other day, didn't it strike um, a new registration, or a record in registrations in, like, Tennessee or something like that? Yeah, yeah. She defied, like... That's crazy. Yeah. But when is she going to be over? (laughs) I don't know. I mean, I, I think reputation was such a big jump, and, like, seeing that it did succeed, like, she can do anything, so I'm interested to see, like her next release like if she yeah. can do it then she literally cannot be stopped she'll be around she's, for a few more years you know a few more years I right. feel like she's, she's gonna keep on going she's gonna be like the Jay-Z and Beyonce of pop music <laughs> yeah Just, they, they, you can't kill yeah, you can't, oh, yeah. you yeah. can't yeah. kill Jay-Z there. you can't kill the Illuminati you heard it here first <laughs> yeah I mean we were speaking of some stuff about that what right before with oh I, yeah yeah oh, oh yeah. with XXX okay <laughs> so that, killed him yeah, that's the theory. Allegedly. That's the theory. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. I mean, theory. In, I'm upset. Send my shooters. SMS triple X. The, that's the only time you shoot below the neck. Like, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> and the fact that uh, Drake never addressed this. Um, what? <laughs> oh, did you? Did you? Did you do something, Drake? What you do there? Like, I, mean, I don't Drake know. Never, Drake never addressed the push a T disc either. And then he dropped Scorpion. Like, I think he's just like. Yeah, but like, did Pusha T win? If he did that, what do you mean? If Drake never responds to a diss, how does it go in the rap world? If you don't respond to a diss, is your career over? No, it's not like that. But like, Pusha T was like calling out his mom, his dad, OVO Forty mm. people. Like, it wasn't just Drake; it was people around him that he cares about. And his, Drake his just son, dropped it. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> his son. Yeah, yeah, you, got, you gotta his get son, a response like, after that. His he son. Just, he just tweeted like, oh. Yeah, my son, and then that was. Just, <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess the son too. Respond to the man. The XXX. Everyone's getting more love than Drake's son nowadays. I hope he pays <laughs> child support though. Yeah. He did that at uh, Adidas press line for his son. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Which is what Pusha T was. What four percent of the cost or the proceeds went to his son or something like that? He's Drake's son. Visit your son, Drake, if you're listening, <laughs> Drake. Please, do, yeah. do some good for this the world. This is a PSA for Drake. <laughs> this is a PSA for <laughs> Drake. This is your son. Aubrey Graham, listen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we got it all covered for this week in music. Um, be sure to come back um, next time for more music and uh, conspiracy theories because we're now Shane Dawson, basically. <laughs> Have you guys seen that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so come back next week. I'm Sarah. I'm Charlie. I'm Sal. I'm George. And we'll see you again. <laughs>